picks up really nice. There's something wrong with my pedals. My, 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 my clutch. There's something wrong with my clutch. It's making like a cluck kind of noise. But I don't know where it's coming from. I think it might be the, the tube inside the tunnel. I'm not too sure. I'm not too, uh, I'm gonna have to do some exploration because I just missed the gear really nasty. Like like nasty missing gear, you know, like like a newbie. I never do that. Almost never. Well no, no, no. I miss a gear every now and then. But yeah, I missed third gear and I it's weird. I can't get it to shift right now. Ugh. So I don't know what's going on. Let's find out! together and we have another situation here um, looks like my clutch is the tube that goes inside the tunnel came loose um, how do you know it came loose um, basically my clutch pedal down there this pedal is all the way up it's got about half inch play not even an inch and and um, they're supposed to have between half an inch to an inch of play okay so I've got the, the play that I need there my problem is that I go all the way down like I'm hitting the wall and I can feel the clutch engaging it's it's you could feel it and it feels like a like a shimmy and just by releasing it less than that actually let me see like right there she's all the way down that much it engages a lot right there see so I only have that much to disengage it so that tells me something broke in here and it just happened I mean I was hot dogging it you know driving out like I stole it like I always do and one of those it just felt weird the the, the shift just felt weird like not normal like third gear actually grinded I was like I was like what the and then it did it again and again, and I noticed that my foot was going all the way down. So I might have to drink either drill a big ass hole right here, or make a big hole on this, on the front, because I don't know if it broke there or if it broke right behind the e-brake on this side. So I have to make a big hole right there uh, and see if uh, it's broken. Um, I'm gonna take the seat out and I'm gonna take a look down because you can see through here. I can see down. See if there's any. Uh, if you can see the tube move, like flex up when I press in the clutch and then flex back down when I release the clutch that'll tell me that it broke from there if it didn't if it doesn't move at all when I move my, when I press my clutch then it's probably going to be in the front so either way it's a huge uh, exploratory hole that I have to make well I'm going to try to skip that part uh, exploratory I, I'm trying to figure out if it's that one or this one so I'm going to See what's going on. I'm gonna take the seat out. All right, so I just stuck a screwdriver in here between the uh, tube and the top part of the tube. And if it's loose, it should move up and down. This thing should go rip, 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 right? So I'm gonna press in the clutch. It ain't moving. Okay. And I can feel the screwdriver, the, the cable, scraping inside the, the tube as I'm pressing the clutch. Okay, it's not moving. The problem is not here. Thank God. Okay, so I'm thinking the problem is going to be over there then. I'm going to have to cut a hole right there on the side tunnel. All right, so a cut if we go with. We've determined not over here, definitely over there. Okay. Uh, yeah, over there, it's, it's, it's either taking your pedals off and then sticking your hand in there and see if, if it's loose but I'm thinking maybe I I don't want to do that I'm just gonna see cut it open since you're not gonna hurt anything it's just gonna look ugly and then you're gonna put the carpet on and you can't really see it anyways anyway so there you go okay
is just not wanting to open. I just want to see if it's safe to open. If it's not here, it's the bottom tube. But see, I already replaced the bottom tube. But you never know, it might be defective. It's oh my god. You gotta be kidding me. It's the bottom tube. It's the freaking bottom tube. Yep. I can't believe I did this. It's the bottom tube. Ay. Whatever. Whatever. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and remove the pedals. Because obviously it's the pedal. I'm pretty sure it's the hook. It's worn out. Worn out. So I'm going to take it off. And I'm just going to add... You know, my son is a welder. So he's going to weld this back up to a good thickness. And that should bring the hook back up here. So that it has more leverage. Yeah. Alright, my assembly is out. Um, there's actually a lot of things wrong with this thing. One. There's my problem right there. Two. She is breaking off. It might have been like deflection, meaning that this lever was actually twisting as I put more pressure onto it, and thus not giving it enough uh, throw back there. Because it's broken up to about the middle. About there. About there. So, mm hmm. We can fix that though. That's not a big deal. So now I have to also bring this up to up here so that it doesn't uh, go all the way in there. Because this thing is about to break. I mean, I could get another one, I guess. They're only like $9. Um, but I think I can fix this. We're going to fix it. So that's the project we're doing right now. All right. All right. So I went ahead and grinded it and then I got the sledgehammer and pounded it and that's as close as it's going to get. That's actually pretty good. I mean, close enough for good work. It's nice and straight now. It used to be like higher. Now they're the same level. So I already grounded also this guy so he can build it up. My son's going to be welding right now in a minute. So. All right. so easy for you well you've been welding a lot of that mm -hmm. yeah I wish I could weld like that you think that's it yeah okay now he's gonna weld the hook Oh my god, that is perfect. I'll just grind that little ball down. That is perfect. Me, wish I could weld like you. Yeah, that'll work. Perfect. Okay, so this is the result right here. Yeah, a little tiny pin thingy. Eh, whatever. But, uh, she is good. I don't care. She's like double the thickness now. Yeah. Double the thickness. Uh, over here. I wish I could weld like this. This is a uh, rosin core. So it's kind of dirty. But I mean. 
and he just did it like nothing. Like nothing. Anyways, I went in back here also and welded it back here just so it reinforced. So I'm going to put everything back together and I am actually going to grease this guy, this hook. I'm going to grease it all up so that it has something, you know, so it doesn't wear out as quick. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to put everything back together. So I've got my pedals back in. And, um, yeah, I got all my, my clutch uh, working perfectly. Now it it actually goes too far. Now I am, I'm in danger of, uh, what's the word, over-clutching my uh, Stage 1 Kennedy clutch. They don't like to be overstroked. When you overstroke them, the diaphragm that, you know, that the pressure plate has will go crooked like that. That's when you overstroked it. And uh, I don't want to do that, so... I'm going to do a little adjustment more so that I can't overstroke it. So, so I'll hit the wall, you know, so I don't overstroke it. Also, <clears throat> my problem is this pedal now should be like right there. There's an adjustment back there that you can um, do that you can move so that it, it has a bracket that moves forward on the bottom. And when it moves forward, the pedal goes up like that. Okay. So right now, it, this pedal is way back here. So I'm like having trouble, you know, like, you know, um, going from my brake to my gas pedal because this thing is way over here. So I need to push it over um, some, somewhere like, like right there so that, um, you know, it's easier to transition from one pedal to the other because they're, they're, they're just too different. And what I've been finding out is that I'm probably not going to be able to do that. Or maybe I will. Yeah, maybe I will. So I'm going to move that thingy this way. And let me see if I can show you. See that nut right there? Let me use this. That nut right there. Or bolt. I have to loosen that. And um, move that bracket forward. So that the pedal. Let's see if I can get Get that thing in there. See? You can see how it hits. Alright. So I need to just move it a little bit oh, this way so that I have a better adjustment. I, I, I like to film, but there's no room in there. So I'm just telling you what I'm doing to get it to where I, I like to drive it. Because <clears throat> everything got moved. It was just, it just the, the car feels like a completely different animal. And I'm just having trouble shifting gears. <laughs> yeah. It's like driving a new car. It's like, what the heck? It just feels like it's a stranger's car. And I'm not, I don't like it. So, anyways, whatever. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and do that real quick. See if we can see. See the way they are right now? Like, that one's too far this way. But I'm going to move it, see if I can get them a little bit better. Okay, move it. Okay, so I've got my adjustment done already. Now I'm at, like, see? It only has that much play right now, which is perfect. Should be about an inch to half an inch. That's somewhere in there. I'm in the ballpark. So we're not going to overstroke this because I already adjust the bottom so that it doesn't overstroke. All right, so this one, it's all, yeah, it's like, it used to be like right here. Now it's about an inch and a half further over there. Now I have to readjust my my little adjustment uh, piston thingy over there. Which takes a... Yeah. You can see the nuts right there. Uh, they take a, a 15. 15 millimeter. Uh, I'm going to twist it so that I don't have that much play. Because look at, look at how much travel I have before I hit the piston. The actual piston bore. So I'm going to remove that because when I step on the brake, <laughs> the pedal feels like I'm going to hit the wall. So it's just readjusting everything the way it was. It's never quite the same when you take that thing out. That's why I don't like to taking out that, that pedal assembly because it always happens. And I'm having to go through that right now. I'm going to readjust that uh, the piston rod for the uh, brakes. So... I'm going to try 
See if I can get some film on this. But, okay, I gotta loosen the the nut, the locking nut, which is this one. Oh, there goes my wrench. It flew to the other side of the car. She could say it was tight. She was tight. So now I'm gonna push out my piston rod with my hands. See if I can do it with my hands. Yeah, I can. Let me see where I'm at here. Ah, there we go. I've got very little movement. See, that much of play, and then it hits the piston bore on the master cylinder. See, that much, it used to be a lot. Okay, I go a little bit more, just a hair more. Maybe there. Okay, that's probably maybe an eighth of an inch of play. You know, of movement down here. I'm not talking about the pedal. The pedal is actually about an, almost an inch. So, so I'm going to go ahead and tighten it now. The locking thing, and I'm all done. I'm just going to finger tighten that thing. Locking nut. Like that. Then I'm just gonna switch over to this side. Okay. She's good. All right. Let's see. Okay. There we go. All right. We're good. Brakes are fixed now. Shouldn't feel weird anymore. Hopefully. <laughs> Whatever. Okay. Um, as far as my wide band or narrow band, um, I'm having to. Um, it's not working. I accidentally pulled out the green wire. That green wire right there. Oops. Oops. Pulled it out accidentally, so it's not working. I need to resolder it to the connector. So I'm going to do that right now. All right, she's fully functional again. Um, I still have to go for a drive. Uh, that way I can get my my uh, readings. It's not as exact, like I said, to uh, Y-band, but you know, I I'm just not gonna deal with this. I think they're using the wrong chipset on the, uh, on the uh, Y-band sensor, digital sensor. Um, and I think, you know what? I bet you everybody's cop copying each other and they're using the wrong chipset because a lot of companies do that. They'll buy the competitors and they say, well, what chip are they using for the main, uh, you know, processor? And they'll they'll copy it. They'll just make their their green board, a PC board, a little different, you know, so they don't get uh, copyright infringement or anything like that. And uh, I think that's what's happening. They're using the same junk. Monkey see, monkey do, right? That's why you have to be original, always. Okay, we're about to go for a drive, and you look at this. It's frog season. Little froggies. Everywhere, all over. Oh my, they're everywhere. I know I'm going to run over some of them. Because uh, it's almost impossible to get them out of the way. Oh well. Look at this. I'm running like super rich. I'm way in the, uh, what you call it, uh, rich zone. I'm not even near stoic. I had a feeling. I'm just messing around with the jets, the idle jets, because right now I'm running on the idles. I went up to 55s because, you know, I increased the CCs, right? You increased the uh, idle jets size from 52s to 55s. So I guess I'm going to be going back to 52s. So, 52s are capable of running a 2 liter or a 20, 56 cc. It's basically, it, it, it's a very little difference in, in engine size. Yeah, going back to 52s. Definitely. 
This is way too rich. I think my mains are perfect though. I didn't touch my mains. Thank God. As far as my pedals, they feel pretty good. They feel pretty good. Now they feel more or less normal-ish. Um, my clutch is perfect. It's shifting perfect. Um, I have a feeling I might have damaged uh, third gear because I'm still grinding when I shift really fast. Um, either I bent the fork. I'm thinking I might have bent it. Bent the internal fork uh, for third gear and fourth gear. Or it moved. I don't think it moved because I remember I tightened it pretty good. When I rebuilt it, the tranny, I know I tightened it pretty good. I might have bent it. And now it... It's like it's barely grabbing third gear. Uh, yeah, I know. Another little problem. Never ending problems. All right, muchachos and muchachas, stay creative. Remember, just be you and uh, everything will be fine. Adios. Huh? My nails are still nails of steel. Power cord. All right. Ugh. Let's see. Okay, cover. We got basket. Instructions. Huh. Yeah, we don't need these. Uh, yeah, look at what I got. Oh. <laughs> no more grungy parts for me. Yeah, those pedals look like crap, but I wasn't going to spend any time on it. Um, if this thing had gotten here, I would have dunked them in there and they would have been squeaky clean. And maybe I would have painted them. Nah, it's a daily driver. Who cares? It's, it's not a... Uh, it's not a show car. Not a show car. Don't care. As long as it drives, right? Fix it and go. Yeah, ultrasonic. Um, I thought it'd be deeper. It's a three liters. I'm like, that's got to be like a liter and a half. And this is three liters. Maybe China has a different definition of three liters. What that really means. You know, because they're rationing everything over there. So three liters actually mean a liter and a half. Whatever. Uh, carburetors, the IDF should be fitting in here. Half of the, well, not half of the head, a partial of the head of the uh, Type 4 engine might fit in here and they would look nice. A little, then flip it over and do the other side. The center would still be dirty as heck. I'm just rambling. All right. Hey, little watch. I got a new toy. Yeet.